Ok, pessoal, nós estamos aqui na Thales, no estande da Thales, é, na Aeronaval 2024, na presença do senhor Nardo, Nardo Lackley. Lackley? Lackley. Lackley. Ele é o gerente de produtos da Thales e ele vai falar um pouquinho para a gente sobre o radar, diretor de tiro e tiro 1.2, Desculpa, que é o radar de diretor de tiro das nossas fragatas Tamandaré. Então, eu queria pedir a você, Nardo, please, uh, talk with us about the steel 1.2, please. The characteristics we, our uh, new frigate will receive uh, with this radar. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, welcome to the STIR. This is the, the name is the STIR 1.2 uh, EO Mark II. And the STIR is a track radar, single target tracker, and you to be used on the Tamandare uh, new ship class for Brazil. And uh, you use the STIR for uh, gunfire control support. Uh, you have the ship, the Tamandare, and you have the 76 mm gun that you need to deploy. And the STIR is a very good product to get the most out of the gun. That's why the STIR is on the, uh, on the ship. If you look at the system, if you come closer, then inside you see here a dish, and there's a dual band radar inside. So uh, there's I band and K band radar. So two radars, and on the left side you see an EO suite with a laser rangefinder, cooled infrared camera, and also two TV cameras. One for target tracking and one TV color zoom for observation. So these are the main things. Uh, what makes the radar uh, furthermore very special is that we offer also uh, pre-action calibration for gunfire control and let's say alignment of the gun um, both in the air as well for service engagements so you can see splashes at the long, uh, long distance and you can measure those splashes and then you can correct the gun if there's any mismatch where you wanted to have the splash uh, beneath below you see a um, uh, foundation and there is uh, it's meant for shock absorbing foundation. So if there's underwater blast, then this will protect the stir from uh, the, the, the big shock from uh, coming from below. And there's a cable drum below. So inside there's no rotary joint. And uh, the cable drum is a very good alternative for rotary joint because it will never fail in the coming years and you do not also have to replace the rotary joint every several years um, which would give the customers more let's say life cycle cost inside uh, in the uh, director there's also the processing and the transmitters and it is good to know for the brazilian navy that inside the two transmitters they are not of the old uh, old fashioned types of tube technology tube technology tends to fail suddenly so inside we have renewed the uh, transmitters in INK band with uh, solid state transmitting uh, technology that means that if there's any failure they will gracefully degrade instead of a sudden failure so this will this whole concept of this track radar will give you a very good uh, track radar in terms of very low life cycle cost, high availability, uh, and very high reliability. Well, the last thing to note about the STIR is that the whole design is meant to, uh, of course, track targets, air and surface, but this radar is particularly good in detecting very small targets in very big clutter. So let's say big rain, icy states, and, uh, and islands, cliffs. And uh, so detecting very small targets in that vicinity is a speciality of uh, the STIR. So all in all, I think it's a very good choice of the Brazilian Navy to choose the STIR uh, on the Tamandare.
for okay. the gunfire control purposes. All right. So thank you, Nardo, for your time here, and I really appreciate yeah. your time here and uh, help us and the Euro Naval the Thales stand. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.